Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the journey of a blind playthrough through legendary difficulty. I'm getting my ass kicked, at least is uh, how it feels. Maybe we're doing better than expected, who knows. Uh, we need to defend this haven, which is clearly under attack, but not before, of course, uh, using the time for some trade reno. There we go. Um, always need to trade. I already learned that. Uh, the B team will be going in. We got uh, a pretty well established team actually <coughs> that are just waiting to get their next tier. <coughs> Apologies. Specifically, with our options for new classes, now researching these extra classes, this here might uh, work out quite well. Uh, we have traded in inappropriate Murphy uh, for uh, Ain Roth, uh, Roth here, uh, but we have never given Ain any meaningful armor, and now it's a little bit too late to rectify that. So I think what we're going to do with uh, him, other than get him a couple of abilities, is he'll become. He'll become a source of healing. Don't think that that is wrong. We will also give him at least some sort of uh, meaningful weapon. Okay, and heavy weapon accuracy uh, proficiency. Well, we. I guess could have skilled that, but it's okay. Some more ammunition. That'll give him medium range, so he should be okay. Yeah, and I think he's definitely missing armor. Is there anyone else we can steal armor off? Do have an idea. Uh, no. But some people in Born in the USA, for instance, do have armor. Granted, it's not the best one, but it's better than nothing. Good, and Ain wouldn't get uh, the best fitting suit, but I mean, it's better than nothing. It's at least 16 armor, and that is a lot. He does have Frenzy, so that is good. We do have enough, uh, we do have enough carrying capacity. And the Sanders uh, does have a pistol and a shotgun. I think the shotgun is a bit redundant because if they, if he really is in close combat, might as well take the hammer and teach them a lesson. For Tyler, it is relevant. Sniper is equipped. We even got some paralyzation option here. Not too bad. Got more melee weapons and... Might as well give him a shotgun uh, on top. He has the carry capacity and that's more damage if he ever ends up close. Good. We are fighting against the pure. No idea what the, exactly that means, but we're finally in a scenario where berserkers are actually going to shine quite a bit.
There is a disciple of a new character Doing over it. here. And I would I love to get them under control as soon as possible. Cool, so he will be our front line. He has a shotgun, very well nice equipped. Easy. Uh, I should say though, that we actually want to should have done that right away. On my way. Jim moves all the way up here and still has a pistol. Tyler. Rolling. Moves over to here. And we're building up a like a fire line uh, type of uh, thing. Shifting the berserkers into the right positions. Advancing. Little green moves up and we've found our first enemy. Oh yeah, well it's really the pure. Maybe they have started this invasion before we killed subject 24. It's a bit odd to still have them here. Both eyes open. White Overwatch. Yeah, Nat Natalia needs to get a good position. Let's make kind of a central hard. one here. Rather go aggressive on the first move and then less aggressive afterwards. On the lookout. Anything that moves dies. Okay, I think we're good. End of turn. So disciple of Anu shoots. There's one more disciple. And then clearly a lot of these guys. They seem to just be dealing with key infrastructure at this point. Oh yeah, here's a PDW. One of those uh, guns that you can shoot with just one action. Seems to be an assault, one that is leaking. Seems like pistol shots. All right, three is over here. Got quite a few enemies. The moment that these that these uh, things go down, we will have a problem because they are going to come for us. Wonderful. I was born ready. Jim moves up. Yeah, I figured we would see a couple of them. Reporting enemy contact. Oh yeah, we knew that enemies would be spotted and contacted. Just want to make sure that we can move in and out. Okay. Ammo break is the right thing here. Perfect. Receiving. The green moves in as well. 
we'll move. Enemy contact. We'll move out of the way. Maybe we're contemplating just to use war cry and a grenade. Ready to roll. We have another war cry. Seems we do not. I was born ready. Again, behind cover. Yeah. That additional shredding will absolutely me. pay dividends. Here, I want to shred the torso. Ha. Finally, we have some berserkers uh, that could help us. Um I was born ready. We got to keep going. Moving up. Ready to fire. Good, that's one down. Very important. My turn. Can't believe it, but we're actually going in with our sniper yet again uh, to the front line. Just taken the a better angle. Uh, not good. I was born ready. Be able to come here. I don't think we can do something for one. My turn. Good, so we still have a couple of things to do here. It's unfortunate that uh, this guy won't die. We know there are a bunch of enemies there. Maybe I can just kill him. Remove actions from him. Running. Okay, we're running up. There are, I think, three over here. Pretty beefy pack. Why did the enemy not react? Huh? Okay, so they decided to do nothing? Ready to fire. Uh, 
that regained uh, some willpower. of these guys here the looking for an angle they are so well armored here I come. not really sure what I can do As long as they don't show the shield Ready. into our direction, we should be fine. It's hard to shoot like this. Good, as for the guys on the other side, just wondering if we rush in here. Let's roll. We should be able to get these guys next turn, right? Ready to roll. Careful. Which brings us to you. Okay, I think we're good. So they are rather focusing on the machine. Uh, what the? As long as it, if. As long as it's just the Decipher, we should be fine. Hit this guy, he's almost down. Attempting to acquire Taki. Yeah, blink. down to really just a few hit points. Oh, wow, he can. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. Ready to fire. Recovering so that we can force scream next turn.
Good, easy. Moving to coordinates. Let's get this done. Stealing more action points there. And I think all things considered, we're good. Unfortunately, we lost our disciple. It's a bit of a bummer. That machine is almost down. which is luckily a free reload and we're overwatching <laughs> taking away actions from two of them holding position overwatch can't really hit anything here might as well just spray and pray as twitch would be saying Colossal damage. Moving to coordinates. Guy goes down. Heading out. Oh, watching. Okay. I think we're pretty much okay here. Trying to reposition. Yeah, there was the hope that he would die. Not enough. Good hit, good hit. Like it. Ready, sword. Gotta focus. Let's start over here. Interesting combination of three operatives that has evolved here. Moving out. Moves here. The slap to the head shows him who's boss. Okay, very good. Okay, not sure how exactly we missed him. So close. 
Covering. I'm here. Still trying to get past that stupid armor. Oh, nice. Well, spray and pray worked. Again, a couple of actions. And at the same time, we're rushing over because that sniper there is the next on our list. Hell yeah, very nice. Recover here. Recover here because I want to jump in. Providing oh, watch. Not going to charge in yet. Advanced. And back into cover. Cover here. Dashing ahead. We'll cover there. I think we're generally fine. And end of time. to here and nicely hit <laughs> fantastic leg is disabled by five can't fully reach him but almost this better work okay cool well the team really worked well and I'm getting used to dealing with the pure there are ways against them, you just need enough armor penetration. What I'm wondering though is, have has uh, that attack been ordered before Subject 24 died? Because the pure, as a faction, should already be extinguished. And the second thing that I wonder is, if my memory serves me well, 
we get negative influence from New Jericho. How is that even possible? I thought the pure were kind of the arc enemies of New Jericho. So yeah, that minus three here really doesn't make any sense. We got a Sanhedrin crossbow. Cool. We got that drone spider pistol, which is super cool. My task is not to see what is on the surface but to perceive the truth within. What do you believe? Do you understand that there is no way back to the world before the flood? Because it was the very nature of that world that caused its downfall. If you do, then you understand the folly of those who dream of the old world, and you will act against them. I am sending you the coordinates of a sacred site. At this place, a child was born with a body uplifted by Anu, and a mind free of the plague, a harbinger of things to come. Yet now the heathens of New Jericho occupy this hallowed ground and refuse to leave. Cast them out and prove your dedication to our cause. The old world must die for the new to be born. Okay, cool. Uh... Fourth initiation, coincidentally down there. Well, that's all fun and games, but we'll get there when we get there, I guess. For now, let's move over there. Mandicore is on the way on the way okay trade yes please and there is a chance for recruitment here as well let me just double check personal so we got So many people. This game is just micromanagement intensive. We got one technician, two technicians, three technicians, and we need a fourth one. Which means if you can give me a good price on that technician, which you can do, then you have a deal. Complete. Mutation lab. Okay, cool, cool. Armored head. Days immunity. That is not bad. Wait. Would that work together with the berserker and the adrenaline rush? That might be a cool combination. Like you could shoot and then you're not even suffering the downside. But minus six accuracy is not very good. Uh, then we got Stomper X plus 12 accuracy. Okay, pretty nice uh, armor as well, but speed is a bit low, so that could be okay. And a regeneration. Oh, nice. Uh, fire uh, effects reduced by half, uh, but also very lackluster. Um, very lackluster stealth. So what I'm uh, accuracy. So what I'm thinking is. Regeneration torso plus head might be something for more melee characters and we just need to find a way of moving fast. Stomperlex on the other hand um, could be something for snipers and ranged characters and if you could deal with that regeneration uh, torso's accuracy penalty you could actually the hit point res uh, restoration to all injured body parts means uh, you could get arms and so on back. So that combination is not bad. What I've thought about is since you need mutagens, right? Uh, mm, what I thought about it uh, is since we now brought our second team also over here, how about uh, Born in the USA actually gets a mutagen lab? I think that would make sense. And another 
training facility. I know it's a lot uh, in terms of prices, but we do have then three training facilities, so it's a lot of um, a lot of experience that they're getting. And the mutagens is a resource that is not competing with the normal resources. So really, what happens is, I think I will mutate the second team. So the first team is kind of the cyborg team. The second one is the half mut mutated team. And as and when we're getting more mutagens, uh, then uh, that would be fine. Uh, that would be fine. <coughs> Besides, I just wanted to check something. The big fat skrilla in vanilla gives us 210 food. Ooh. I like that. Phoenix Point will soon be reached and we'll soon have another invasion there and another invasion there. Okay, yeah. So yeah, we're going to do that mission next. Uh, that is, matter of fact, our next task, just defending against the Pandorans. Unfortunately for us, again, New Jericho like takes a little bit of a hit, but the disciples of Anu seem to be a okay with all of uh, that. Uh, it will be a time when we're getting back to New Jericho as uh, as well. The moment they are really just going down, and down. Uh, not sure if we can uh, can breach the current support of nature um, without doing that next mission. It seems you always need to do missions in order to uh, to kind of uh, pass that next tier. At least it, it's odd that I've often like um, plateaued at 24, 49. Mathematically, that is very unlikely that you're always just uh, below that um, hump. Uh, we need to find something for New Jericho as well. But see, here. If we defend that, I'm pretty sure New Jericho will like it. So we're a-okay with it. Anyways, if you're a-okay with a lot of things, then uh, feel free to leave an a-okay like uh, down uh, below that video. That will help the channel and support the fight against the Pandorans. Think about it. If you want more content of Phoenix Point, the like button is uh, the way to do it. Thank you and have a good one.